Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Last time we finished off the fall section of Click Clock Wood. Uh, got a really head, good head start into winter. And this is going to be the last episode of a world in this game. So savor it, take it in. Because there's no way in hell at this point that the level can fuck me over. Knock on wood. <laughs> um... But yeah, Click Clock Wood is a, a fun little area. The platforming is... I, I think the platforming is very fair. I don't think that there's anything unfair about it like I would the other parts of the game, like Rusty Bucket Bay. But... Wait a minute. Oh! He's a mighty eagle! Uh, look at him. We raised him from scratch. We raised him from an egg. I love those tiny little wings that can somehow support his fa- Oh, God, did he just shit out that jiggy. Uh, don't, don't put your mouth on it, Kazooie. Don't, 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 don't. Aww. Oh. But that's the last, uh... That's the last jiggy that's not transformation or Jinjo related. And we do have one more Jinjo to go, but I'm going to try and take care of these notes up here. And, of course, I still haven't gotten the, uh, the honeycomb pieces. I'll get to that in just a bit. But, while we're at it, four notes. And I think this is the point in the game, or in the level, that you should uh, come up here. Not necessary, but it helps. And the last notes, I believe, are down here. Yep. So, find a way to get out here without touching the Sir Slush or being a victim of the camera angles of doom. Um, I really should have beak bomb beak bombed your ass. It's okay. It's not necessary. Just stay relatively moving. Yep. Two more notes, and then the game is over. Well, and then the headache of not dying is over. One more note, one more note. Yes! All 900 notes in the game! Eat that! Without dying. All 900 notes in the game without getting screwed over. I'll tell you what, that's something else. That That's like the best performance of my game ever on a Let's Play. Take that for what it's worth, but I mean, when people are on camera, they usually suck balls, or at least worse than, uh, or worse than what they usually do. But nope, this is the best I've ever played Banjo-Kazooie. And I caught it on camera in a Let's Play format. Can you believe it? I can't. Ow. Oh, Banjo, you dumbass. Anyways, there's actually a flight pad down somewhere. I believe. Ah, the flight pad's over here. That's fair enough. At least they put something there. See, at least when it comes to re this level, I don't think Rare was the sadistic bastards that they can be. I mean... And things like Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, for God's sake, Banjo. I've never failed that much at it. But, I mean, with Rusty Bucket Bay or something like the tribal collection process and Jet Force Gemini, Rare can be some really, really mean dickheads. But they were our dickheads. And they are no more. I mean, of course, they're still around, but most of the people involved with the original incarnation of Rare are not associated with Microsoft's Rare. What the hell? I'm beak bombing the damn window. Okay, I'm going to give it one more try. And if not, the hell with it. I don't need this. I'm not going to stress myself over it. I mean, if I die, fair enough. I don't need to worry about notes anymore, so dying is a non-issue. What the blue hell? Well, I'm still airborne, so you know what? No. I'm not going to let this beat me. This is not going to be my bane. A freaking honeycomb... What? I'm hitting it! Okay. 
You guys can start laughing. The fail has begun. Laugh it up. It's going to be the one time that you actually get to do... Oh! Do it in this Let's Play. God damn it. Uh... Okay. No. I still have Jinjos. I will give it one more shot, and if I don't get it, fuck it. There's a honeycomb piece in there, and there's a honeycomb piece in Naughty's house that you have to get by, uh... Hang on a second. I got a better idea. Oh, why would you... You're supposed to rat-a-tat-rap that, you idiot. Okay. I have to remember that I still have a Jinjo to get. So... Anyways, I'm I'm trying to beak bomb this, and it's not working. It's not letting me. There we go. That's so much easier. I have never failed to beak bomb that before, and lo and behold, I fail like ten times in a row. Anyways, um, here. I'm I'm a bit concerned because of the Jinjo deal going on, but. There we go. Where are you? Enemy. Life! Sweet life. Like a weird spacey kooky remix of Nabnut's house theme. We only have one more empty honeycomb that, again, I will say this, does completely nothing. But I'm gonna get it anyway. Big Buster, fall down, not get hurt. I love that trick. I've made some great use of it. But, uh, the one last part of this level that I could die. I just have to remember where the hell Naughty's house is, so I don't have any opportunity to fuck up. Yep. Yes, that's right. Swim under there. Under the ice. Because uh, icy water takes double air. And that's no good. But, I mean, it's decent enough. It's not unforgiving to the point where if you make one slight mistake and you're swimming, you fucked. Uh, it's not far off, though. And we get to listen to this music again. Core. What the hell is core? Anyways, this is the last honeycomb piece. Yes, 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 yes. And it even gave me a life refill. How nice of it. Aww. I don't know why, but in fall when you're under the water, uh, Naughty theme continues to play, but in winter it does not. Some kind of a glitch, maybe? I don't know. Alright. No! Oh god! No! No! No, you sadistic bastards! <sighs> no. It just happened. It just happened! Oh my god! Jinjos! Jinjos! No! Oh! That's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get for doing that. Okay, laugh it up. I jumped. I jumped, but because he, he, he came up for air in such a stupid spot, I jumped in a place that took me back underwater. See, urgh, sometimes, every now and then, the game does that. So I have to collect the Jinjos again. But not to worry, they're not the difficult part. They're not out of the way or any crap like that. So I mean, this is just going to be a, like a five minute journey. Use the beak bomb to get around a little bit. There! It happened! Are you happy? Are you happy? I hope you are. The things I do for you pe Oh, you people. And yeah, like I said, the Jinjos are handled completely differently. And 
Banjo Tooie, and I like the way they're handled in that game. It's not just five per level. There's actually more than five different colors of Jinjos. Uh, but we'll get to that whenever I get back to that game, and I'm, I'm going to do Spring Last, so... I mean, Summer and f Fall are basically right there. And of course, there is that Jinjo at the top of the tree in Spring, but I do not need to go to the top of the tree the hard way to do it. So we get to see all the seasons again. I guess it's okay. But, yeah, don't do that. Don't don't worry about honeycombs that serve no purpose but to bolster your numbers. It's stupid. And it gets you killed. That's the one time. I've, I've never died under there. And that's the one time. But you know what? It doesn't matter, because it doesn't count. It didn't screw up my note score. I got all 900 notes without dying in a level. And that's what I consider a very, very moral victory. So, yeah, laugh it up, but I'm the one who gets the last laugh in the end. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't I didn't mind Click Clock Wood. It was not something that I needed to waste my time with the honeycomb pieces on for any other reason but dem dem eh, demonstrative purposes. So yeah, say goodbye to fall. Say goodbye to, well, we already said goodbye to summer. But yes, guys, say goodbye to fall. Click clock wood. She is done. Ding dong. The witch is dead. The wicked witch. The wicked witch is dead. So, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for the last transformation of the game? Because I certainly am. And again, for all two of you, the transformation is the only other one besides the crocodile that has some kind of a special ability. In this case, it can't attack. But what it can do is even better and more useful. And I'm going to have to go the long way. I love Click Clop Wood so much, it makes me feel so good. Uh, and of course, Naughty has a boulder problem again. Why, I'm not sure. I think that happened in Nintendo Capri Sun during his Let's Play, actually. He positioned himself in such a way, and he tried to get up, but the water shoved him back down. Now, the difference between me and him is that he actually got back up for it. But I'm the one who gets the moral victory in the end, because... Oh. I feel so happy right now. So happy. But, why shouldn't I? I just completed the quote-unquote hardest level of the game with no difficulty. Anyways, here we go. Bam! It's a B. B is best yet. And it is the best yet, because it has yellow pants, or yellow shorts, blue backpack, and it can fly! And one of the Jinjos, I mean, th this is so great. And it doesn't even take fall damage, because no transformation takes fall damage. At least I don't think they do. Um, this, this is so great. I love the bee. You don't have to worry about dicking around with any of the platforming crap. But it's the reason why I took care of it last. Because, you know, going around Click Clock Wood... You need Banjo and Kazooie for quite a bit of it. So I, I took care of it, and I streamlined it, so to speak. Because if I did it during my first trip to spring, I'd have to come back and Mumbo transform me again. But yeah, the other Jinjo was in the Beehive. Let's get that last Jinjo at the highest point in the tree that Banjo and Kazooie can get to. Eventually. 
Check your watch. Eerie's gone. He's gone. So I, I don't know why Naughty has a boulder problem again, but I mean, Eerie's gone, the flowers bloom, so some things have saved, so to speak, in the level. I guess for no other reason than... Anyways. Nine Jiggies. That's the last of the Jinjos we'll see. Or is it? We'll find out. Eventually. Anyways, here at the highest point of Click Clock Wood, there is an area that only the bee can get to, which has the final Jiggy of the level. Yes! Time to dive, Bomb Bee. Yes, we'll be hearing that jingle the last time very soon. But say goodbye to Click Clock Wood, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I don't I don't count that as a debilitating death because all I had to do was collect the Jinjos again and, well, they're easy. I enjoyed it. And if you try and enter one of the other seasons as the bee, Mumbo's magic just automatically gets weak and runs out the instant you go into the level. So you can't, like, fly around in cheap-ass summer or fall or anything like that. But, we're done. And above this, we have the last Jiggy of the game. Get ready, folks. Shit gets real here. Oh, I love that sound. 900 Jiggies. Let's look at this. Yeah! Hell yeah! 900, 124, oh, if you care about the 24. Really only needs to be 18 if you want my honest opinion, but... 900, 124 in under 6 hours. I love it. Yompo's magic gets weak. And we're going to the final area of the game. Are you ready? This was behind the 640 note door that I took care of, but... Wait, no it's not. Okay, never mind what I said, disregard what I said. Oh! Wait, what? That thing wasn't there before. Huh, whatever. Here we go, this is what we were looking for. <laughs> That's Tootie. Sounds like a game show. Looks like a game show. Pretty lights and things like that. Let's go. Here we are, everybody. Welcome to the final boss? Grunty's Furnace Fun! Banjo's here to play my game. Look, you guys can read. But yeah, Grunty has this obsession with uh, uh, making sure that the job is done before she even has her final goal. Because she had Tootie in the machine, she was in the machine, all it took was a button press by Klungo. And bam, she has what she wants. But that doesn't really help her here because she has an ego the size of Manhattan and needs to make sure that the job is done before she completes her goals. I don't get it. The only way she actually completes is if you, is if you save and quit or get a game over or something like that. But yeah, Grunty's Fern is fun. It's an interesting little board game. Trivia is what it is. Behind here we have the teleportation pot, which does not have a brother yet. A little answer is all I seek about this game, you furry geek. Should have been furry freak, but um, yeah, we will get to Grunty's Furnace Fun on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie where we finally will rescue Tootie. Have a good day, everybody.